Hey, I'm Lisa Ingracia with Wonderwall.com. We've got Keenan Cahill in the studio today. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you. You're celebrating your 17th birthday this month. Yep. Did you ever think that you would be at this stage that you are in your life right now, a sort of a web sensation at this age? Not really, but I always thought, like, when I was little, I've always wanted to be a singer or actor. And I always thought deep down it would happen somehow. So it was really weird how, you know, all, you know, this lip syncing made it, you know, actually happen. Yeah, it's a pretty phenomenal and unusual way to get your start in a career. And so tell me, how did it first come about that Katy Perry sort of started giving you attention? When I first met her in Philly um, at her concert, she's like, I also, I actually heard you from a band called MGMT. And she, she's just like, well, I'm gonna blow this mother effer up. And she, you know, she tweeted it. So what is it like when you're at school now? I mean, that you've sort of hung out with Katy Perry and 50 Cent, and when you go to school, how do, do people treat you differently? Oh, um, not really. They just, they kind of ask, what are you doing this weekend? Because they know <laughs> I'm probably up to something. And what do your parents make of your sort of international fame? What do they think about it? They were freaking out at first but now they've just gotten used to it. But I mean, they've just gone with it. They, they're like really happy that it's, you know, happened. Can you tell us about what your disease is called? The disease is marital May. It's basically a disorder where your body is kind of deformed as you grow. I've had like a couple, like, I want to say like five surgeries on my legs and hips. By sort of being a face and raising awareness for your disease, have you had a lot of people reach out to you and say how you've helped them? I mean, I've gotten emails from people who have my disease that say, you know, you really helped me. Like, there was this kid who didn't really want to do anything because of his condition and everything, but he, he saw my videos, he went to Disneyland, and he started, you know, like, filming himself and everything. So he actually started doing that. And um, tell me, is there a dream collaboration that you have? Is there somebody who you'd love to tape a video with? Um, Chris Brown. Just because he's like one of my favorite artists. Um, he's just a really good entertainer. That's a controversial choice. Do you think people would get heated about it? I mean, regardless of what happened in the past, I mean, he's still, you still got to give him credit. Like, he is a really good, you know, singer and dancer and everything. Now, tell me what you're doing here in LA. You're actually starting to record as a recording artist? Uh, this week, we're actually, you know, doing a, a song and everything, but. Of course, yes, it's a little bit more different than, you know, lip syncing because you're actually singing. But, you know, I'm still hoping, like, people that do watch the videos will like the music. Well, I'm so happy for you. I'm interested to see what becomes of your album. And thank you. It's really exciting and inspirational. And happy birthday. Yeah, thanks. I'm Lisa Ingrassi with Wonderwall.com. Catch you next time.